As we look at the clock this morning, it is 5.05, and here's how things look in Jacksonville, Florida. A live shot as that storm, Helene, downgraded to a tropical storm from a hurricane just within the last hour, but it continues to pummel the state of Florida overnight as a Category 4 when it made landfall, and it is headed inland toward Georgia and South Carolina. Now, that storm did make landfall a little after 10 o'clock our time last night. And officials are reporting at least three people have died, and that threat is far from over. Overnight, Hurricane Helene slamming Florida, hitting south of Tallahassee as a Category 4 storm. You have these 140 mile an hour winds hitting here in North Florida. The National Weather Service issuing a rare extreme wind warning for the Tallahassee area, calling Hurricane Helene an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation, warning people to take cover and to treat the conditions as if a tornado was approaching. In Tampa, roads turned to rivers. The area hit with strong bands of wind and rain. On Interstate 4, a highway sign fell onto a vehicle, killing the driver. This storm is raging. I have got flooding so bad you can't even imagine. This video appearing to show transformers exploding. Hundreds of thousands without power in Florida and Georgia. Boy, that video is something else, and we know it's been a tough year for Floridians. It absolutely has, and we know that these, these are just the initial images that we're getting. We know that throughout the day we're just going to keep seeing more and more of what this impact is. Yep. Mario Ruiz with us at the desk, and we know this is hurricane season, kind of the tail end, and right. we might not be done. No, no, we've still got a couple, couple months left of hurricane season, and of course we're still watching for those images coming in overnight. My brother actually lives in Tampa, so I haven't slept because I've been watching this for him. Uh, but this is what a tropical storm Helene uh, did. So it made landfall as a category four, like was mentioned, but this is the thing about this season in particular. Helene is now the fourth U.S. Gulf Coast hurricane of 2024. Only five other years have we seen this happen, most recently 2020. So it's been very active in the Gulf. It's the strongest Florida landfall since Michael in 2018, and that's still, you can still see the devastation on uh, Mexico Beach there close to the Panhandle. It's the ninth strong strongest uh, Florida hurricane since 1900, and that is now the strongest hurricane along Florida's Big Bend, at least landfall hurricane along Florida's Big Bend, and the records go back to 1851. So this one's certainly going to be uh, in the record books. Still dealing with those tropical storm warnings because tropical storm force winds, that's 39 mile per hour wind speeds are higher fr from northern Florida into southern uh, Carolina there along with a tornado watch because of that. Okay, so because of this track and the direction it's heading, some of these outer bands here, that's where the risk is for the severe weather in terms of not just the flooding, but the tornadic threat. This is between nine and noon, and you'll see that threat kind of go into Virginia. Meanwhile, soaking rain continues for areas of Tennessee and Kentucky. That continues at least for the next 24 hours. This is going to cause a major headache for any travel uh, heading towards the East Coast. Not only that, but also looking at uh, those winds that are going to still be high across areas of Georgia. Factor in the major flood event that Georgia had a few days ago before Helene even made it inland, and that's going to be a recipe for disaster in terms of down trees and down power lines, unfortunately, because you have that saturated ground and then you have wind speeds of at least 40 miles per hour or higher consistently. Again, this is going to be something that's going to cause a headache for weeks to come. Morgan.